Hello, Dr. Russ here with a demonstration of some breathing exercises. This one in particular is great for scoliosis. With most scoliosis, especially through the thoracic spine, there's a lot of asymmetry of the ribs, structurally as well as functionally. The structural asymmetry we can see, and we can see on an x-ray or we can often see on the surface of the body, but the functional asymmetry is important too. Whichever side that the thoracic spine leans to, there's gonna be a functional compression of the ribs on that side, and just naturally less respiration, less respiratory movement taking place on that side. So this exercise is meant to counteract that, to retrain the breathing, and always we wanna strengthen our diaphragm, stretch our diaphragm, keep our intercostals mobile, stretched, keep all of our ribs nice and mobile. I like to do this with a resistance band. I think that's the best. If you don't have resistance band, you can use a strap. This is a yoga strap. A belt also works. A towel will work. Whatever you have handy, but try to get a resistance band to do this with. You're gonna wrap the band around your lower ribs. So under the breasts, above the kidneys. Here's my belly button here. Here's my sternum here. I'm about halfway through. You're gonna pull so that resistance band is a little snug. As you breathe out, you're gonna pull, take up the slack a little more and pull with the resistance band. Hold the resistance band at that level of resistance and take a deep breath in. And out. And as I'm breathing, I'm expanding my ribs side to side and front to back against the resistance of the resistance band. I'm giving it a pretty good pull. Now my scoliosis is concave to the right, meaning my thoracic spine is shaped like this a little bit. So in order to counteract that approximation, a crowding of my ribs on the right side, as I'm breathing in, I'm going to lean a little bit to the left and really accentuate the breath into those right ribs. Good. I want you to notice we're not picking up off that hip. I'm not leaning my whole body. My pelvis is staying level and stable and I am just curving my lumbar and thoracic spine the other way. Breathing into those right ribs. I'm gonna hold it now with one hand. I'm gonna take my right hand, bring it up and over. Breathing into the right ribs. <sighs> Breathing out. It's not very common for the thoracic spine to have a left concavity, but if you do have a left concavity, you would just do the opposite of what I just did. 10 or 12 deep breaths is a great way to start. You can do that every day it will really help to uh, counteract some of the consequences of the asymmetry in your rib cage and your thoracic spine, and more importantly, help to open up your breathing. That breathing is so crucial to everything in your health. I hope this helps you. I hope you try it and it works. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.